Hello and welcome to Story Note. Today we will see how we can customize our home page. So directly go and click on customizer right here. You will see that you have a lot of options and you have a preview of your site here. The first thing that you need to notice that you have here sections which are all the sections that are available or showing in your store. For example, the header top, the header, the hero section, slider, collections, products, and all of that. And if you scroll down, you will see settings tab right here. You will see sections and settings. With these settings, you can control many things either typography, colors, reviews, and also in general you have wish lists, you have customer buttons, you have directions, you have either Arabic or English, you have add to cart text, buy now button, add to wish list text, and view details text, you can control and edit all those texts. And also you can choose a title sizes and the content size, then a font in the typography. The colors, here you can change the colors of your whole store to match your brand and also the reviews if you have any reviews to show in your store this is all about the settings if you go back to the sections you will see a lot of more because we have a lot of sections either from starting the top to the bottom right here so the top section here called the header top right here you will see you have an email a text a currency a language and a customer login if you click here on header top you will see the same things that I have told you email message free shopping which is this languages currency and customer login so if I want to show the email you only just click in show email right here and change my email then the message also I can control and change it also show languages and currencies if you have multiple languages you need to show languages and currencies but if you don't if only have one languages it's fine to just disactivate the languages and the currencies because they are do not have any rule then the social media here you put all your social media links the facebook the twitter and the linkedin pinterest and all of that this is about the header top if we go to the second thing which is the header which is this one you will see that you will have a logo, a menu, a wish list, a cart. If you click on the header, you will see your store logo. You will see the logo height. You can either increase it or decrease it. And you will see the logo position in the menu. You can edit all these stuffs as you like. Select your store logo and choose your logo height, then your logo position. Either you have three positions either to the left or to the right or to the center and the important things is to choose your menu right here after that you have the hero section the hero section is the this section below the header right here it has all collections it has a search bar and a phone number you have in every part of the website you will see that you can show or hide each part as you like. For example, I don't want this collection to show. I'm gonna just untick it right here. Or I want to give it another name. I will just need to edit the name right here. For example, categories. All categories. And you will see it always the preview will be refreshed with the edits that you have done. Also, I only want to show, for example, a specific collections here. You can add those in here. The same thing with the contact and the same thing with this search bar. You can show search bar or you can show content or hide it. Also, you can edit the content number, the contact text and the placeholder also of the search and the text in the place order. For example, I'm going to do find like this it depends actually on how you want to show your store the slider as you see here we have a different options of the slider the important things 
here is the desktop height you can choose the height of the slider either in many points or end points the desktop the tablet into mobile and also you can change the preview up here either for desktop or tablet or for mobile or so to see all the previews as you see for example the mobile height i want it to be for example 100 and the, re the page will be refreshed automatically to apply those edit as you see right here now you will see the items i have added four items if you go to down the page here you will see a new button called add new item if you click on add new item it will show your item it's right here in the number of the item then the content directions either left to right or right to left depends also depends in your language then the content position do you want the content to be content to be in the center in the left in the right those are also easy to uh, to modify and easy to control those are only simple things choosing a background choosing a position and putting the text right here in the bottom text also so if you choose for example a background image right here for example this background i'm gonna click insert photo then in this text i will just edit the text like this and put for example iphone 11 it's easy to customize then the button text shop now i'm gonna edit to buy now then the button color also i'm gonna make it for example a red color and the button link the button link should be your product link if you go for example to your store like this if you click on this and click on the product you will see this is the link of your product just copy the link of your product and put it on your button link right here then the animation either you want the animation to be right to left left to right zoom in zoom out play with these settings until you are satisfied with them and also you can show the button or hide it as you see right here i'm gonna go to desktop mode to see the picture that i have added right here the picture is a little bit smaller just click on publish now and all the settings that you have done will be published now this is about the slider the collection carousel is this one right here this section right here now we have only four collections that i have in here i can make the size of it either small or medium as you see always the preview will be loaded you will see this is a carousel or i can make it even larger to show only two collections each as you see here so the smaller shows four columns of collections and medium shows only three then the large shows only two and you can select all your collections right here this is really easy to customize then your featured product as you see each individual section has its own parameters that you can control so it is easy to control actually if you go for example to feature product you will see the first thing you will see is this text right here which is the first thing in the page that's why it is easy to customize then we will see the collections right here if you can you add a collection for example as you see right here if you click on the collections the product will be shown automatically from those collections okay so you have here also the type of products to show the latest products or you can select your own products if you choose select products you will need to select them right here but i'm going to choose only the latest product then the desktop size as we all talk this it is the same thing 
about the collections, the small shows four products. Right here and the medium shows three, the large shows two columns. This is the max product that should be shown in your store right here. It is set to 20. I'm gonna make it, for example, just 10. Then the mobile size, small or large, then show quantity right here and you can show it or hide it also. After that, you will see that we have a section of blog. Then the home blog. You will see this section, blog post. Here you can select the type, either list posts or select the blogs you want to show. If you choose select post, you will need to select them right here. I'm going to choose latest product and you can also change this text right here and choose a style. Then you can also show or hide these things, the description, the date and the comment number. And you can choose a max number of blog posts to show in your home page. Then the home brands, which shows these photos of the brands right here. You can also control them, either select same thing, all brands or selected brand, and choose your brands to show. You can also show the name of your brand right here. This is all the sections of our home page we have covered many things in this video so if you have any questions this is really easy to set up but if you have any questions feel free to contact us or or give us a comment below this video thank you for watching do not forget to click publish now